Hey guys, happy full blue moon, which is due tomorrow at 5 p.m., which I think is super cool. Um, this is not like the second full moon of the month, but this is called like a blue flower moon, I think it's called. I wanted to create something to, um, typically I store my crystal-ish kind of rockish collection in um, just a very simple little burlap bag. And I realized that it had been several months since I had taken things out of the bag and uh, charged them under a full moon. And I think that, uh, to me, that is a very um, metaphysical, but also a very healing thing to do because I think when you charge your crystals, of course, anything like this is intention, right? It's the intention behind what you're doing, why you're doing it, you know, whether it's feng shui, whether it's clearing clutter, that kind of thing, anything like that. I was reminded of making a tray similar to this uh, when I read Gretchen Rubin's um, Outer Order, Inner Calm. And one of her little short essays says something about everything. <laughs> everything looks nicer if it is arranged in a tray. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it really does look nice. So my intention today is just to use an old, not old, but use a tea bag box and make some sort of tray that's going to fit in my window sill. And then I can put my crystals in it and get those babies charged over the, um, over the uh, new moon, under the new moon. I have to show you this. This is a stone that my sister brought back from Israel. That is, um, she got this from the field where David slew Goliath. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that it is, it is like not, <laughs> it's, uh, again, intention, you know, it is meaningful. It is the place that it is from that I think is so cool. Um, also one of my super faves is a piece of... Well, where is she? There she is. Polychrome Jasper. This is just awesome. And it, it's my astrological sign is Leo. Um, the chakra is the solar plexus. And it's worn by shaman for pr protection. I just really do love it. Um, it is from Madagascar, Australia. And it is like one of my, mm, when, you, when you meditate and you hang on to something like this, it just really does ground you. Of course, rocks, stones, crystals, all of that really does have a very grounding nature, doesn't it? So let's get started on this little box. This really cannot take very long because I've got to be at the farm in just a little bit to set up for our festival. So let me show you what I've done here. This is just a tea box, and you guys know how much I love tea boxes and how I use them. I have uh, folded the tea box out, and I've measured one and a half inches from this uh, center fold right here, okay? To me, when you fold the tea box out, it's just a whole lot easier to work with. We don't need any of this, you know, the top part here. I've already measured, so I've got my lines, so I'm going to cut those. And then I'm going to paint, uh, paint my tea box. I'm just going to do it in white because of the aforementioned I got to be somewhere and I just don't have, um, I don't have a lot of time to uh, think. <laughs> which is good. <laughs> Thinking does come in handy sometimes. I can see now that that's probably, I'm probably going to have to trim. Oh, nope, it fits. Hoorah. All right, so we've got this done. The next thing that I want to do is just give this a quick zhuzh of paint. Do you remember how, when Rachel Ray said that? Zhuzh, a zhuzh of mayonnaise, a zhuzh of ketchup, a zhuzh of this. I think that was her anyway. I need to grab my art rag. I do not know where it is. Ba -da 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 -da. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I hung it on the back of my chair. I'm so smart. <laughs> but I don't have any water in my paint thingy, so not too smart. 
All right, so we are going to just kind of paint this round. And, you know, I'm, I'm real fond of not covering it up all the way. You know, we like to see what, we're, what we've what um, we done with a piece of trash that would have ended up in the, well, this would have ended up in the recycling, of course. You know, I love tea. I like the way it tastes. We drink a lot of tea. And, uh, you know, you can use the tea tags. You can use the twine that the little tag is tied onto the tea bag. The tea bags themselves I take to my neighbor's house for composting. Even though we have a garden, um, he has a, a composting system, you know, so, and they grow the best pe peppers and tomatoes. So the years that we did not have a garden and herbs and roses and everything else. I'm going to um, draw this really quick with the heat tool. I will just continue. I'm not going to stop the video because a lot of times when I do that, I lose footage. I lost two videos last week that I had really spent a lot of time on. I'm a really big fan of like the five, ten minute video. Because that's all that my telephone will, will usually allow me. Maybe 20 minutes. And I have a super nice phone, so I don't know... I don't know what the deal with that is. And of course you can use any kind of box you want. It doesn't have to be a tea box. You can get really fancy with it. I'll show you one of my fancy tea boxes that I did. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's see if I can put my hands on that. This is one of my fancy tea boxes that I did. A while back but this this baby took a while so we're not gonna go quite that quite that intricate today we're gonna keep it super simple uh, the next thing that you want to do is just fold your tea box back together now because um, a I like the way it looks and because I really don't have a lot of time right this minute, what I want to do, and plus this is going to be covered up anyway, is take a stapler and I'm just going to staple the box back together. And you see what we've done? We've made a very nice little tray, right? The, the thing is, guys, that we we don't have to buy everything we see, right? Um, I am a non-consumer, which means I just don't buy a lot of stuff. Um, I don't, um, I, I, I love to create the things that, you know, that I use as decor in my house. This needs to get dry just a little bit more. The next thing that I want to do is I, my friend uh, who has a studio in town, um, when people move out of her, of the studio, of the, this is a, a big place and there's just a lot of, you know, I kind of like the way that looks, so I'm going to like that. Um, there are a lot of of artists who rent spaces there and um, so when they move out they do free tables so this was on a free table believe it or not um, so my friend grabbed it for me it's awesome when um, one of my friends uh, was keeping boxes for me and her husband picked up the bag that the boxes were in and uh, he said, I'm taking this to the trash. And she said, no. She said, that's Tammy's. And, and Mark said, Tammy likes trash? <laughs> and Lorraine said, yeah, 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 she does. She likes trash. 
which is really funny. Again, we're going to use the stapler. Of course, you can, I mean, you can, you can put rickrack on here. You can decoupage it. You can collage it. You can do whatever you want to with it. But right now, um, I, I forgot to pull out my heat, my, um, my um, hot glue gun, which I you know, you know about my relationship with my hot glue gun. I don't like it. Uh, it's for a lot of reasons. And one of these days, I will tell you guys the story about Tammy and the hot glue gun. And why I have no use for them. <laughs> It'll be something for us to look forward to. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pull this on around. And I am going to give it a little cut right here. But you can see that this is already turning out super cool. And, you know, we didn't spend much time on it. We used some trash that might ended up, have ended up in the recycling. I am kind of being fussy about... Um, I, I don't want the beads to drag, you guys. You know, you, you can kind of see that I've, I've pulled this up. So I don't, I've kind of, um, I don't want the beads to drag, but hey, you know, if they drag, then they drag. No big deal. Art should never be this huge deal. It should always just be fun. And what can be funner than turning trash into something super pretty to put your crystals in, right? There we go. I think we'll do one more right here. And then we'll call that done. See, that is, I mean, it's just really pretty. And you can do it with anything, y'all. You know, rickrack, ribbon. Uh, like I said, you can paint it. You can decoupage it. You can do whatever you want to with it. Now, for just like a finishing touch here, I'm going to use some fabric that my sweet friend gave me, and I'm just going to lay the fabric into the now altered tea box. You can also like paint the inside if you want to. Don't have to use fabric. Okay, you can use an old t-shirt or whatever. Doesn't matter. So this is kind of what it's looking like now. So we can see the side and we see the top. Um, I'm going to lay my crystals in here very gently. Look at that jasper. Whew, it's pretty. This is rose quartz. My niece, I gave her a piece of rose quartz when she started driving. And she's had a couple accidents, but she did not get hurt. So she always thinks it's the rose quartz that's protecting her. This is Galena. This is uh, a crystal point. This is a crystal wand. This is, I believe this, I don't know what this is, you guys, but it's a healing wand as well. And then Chris, one night at a show, um, found this for me. I think that they were selling it at the merch table. And I do have a shark's tooth that I'm gonna put in here. So there we go. And I am going to sit this in my window sill. Sill. It's the perfect size. It turned out to be, let's see, it turned out to be about nine and three quarters by three and three quarters. And it's just the perfect little size. It is uh, one and a half inches high, a little more than one and a half because I did pull this cording up. So you can see how sweetly it turned out. It was just like the perfect thing to put my crystals in. So I am going to give them a nice charge over the um, full blue flower moon. I hope you guys will try this. It's a lot of fun. It's real easy. Very simple. Um, can't get better than that. Simple, easy, fun recycling. Talk to y'all soon. Take care. Bye.